What's up, people? Toadslayer72 here. You are looking at uh, Matt Lore's Baby Hard Gill. It is about four inches long, weighs around an ounce. That's a three piece fast sink. The color is female bluegill. Now, as the name implies here, this thing is smaller. You know, you can see it next to the other gill there. But, um,. That small size might appeal to a lot of people, you know, just because some people are intimidated by the bigger baits, which, you know, fine by me. The less people throwing them, the better. But, um, it's also, I guess, the nice thing about it is you don't have to buy any special gear for this, for this bait here. You can throw it on your regular uh, crankbait outfit. You know, I was throwing it with the medium heavy St. Croix crankbait rod, an Avid, and uh, it was no problems. These swim baits here, and these these Matt Lures baits, these gills, and just swim baits in general, they don't come through the water the same as like a, a big heavy crankbait with like a deep diver or something like that. There's not a big bill on there creating any resistance. They kind of glide through the water. Don't get me wrong, they have a lot of kick to them. I mean, when you pull on this thing, you can really feel it thumping down there, but it uh, it's not that taxing on your gear as you might think a, a one or two ounce bait would be. Or, even those big baits, same thing, they, they slide through the water pretty nice and natural. But um, before I go any further, I want to talk about the hooks. You know, my other video, I thought I thought this stuff came with owner. You know, that was just a, I think I was wrong on that. I'm pretty sure after looking at some of this, these hooks, or looking closer at them, comparing them with some other hooks that I have, I think they're Gamakatsus. But uh, I like owner. Anyway, I'm going to be swapping these hooks out, putting some heavier gauge on there, see if I can find a number six, which I think that's what size that is. I prefer owner hooks and split rings. I mean, that's just a personal preference. I think these baits would be fine right out of the box, you know, but that's just what I do. So, to each their own on that. You know, you do whatever you want. I'm putting owners on there. But um, I got this lure to match the hatch in my area. You know, I'm seeing a lot of little baby or smaller panfish like this swimming around so I mean I'm sure I'll catch a lot more small fish too which is not what I'm trying to do but I have to weed through a bunch of two pounders little two and a half pound fish to get to the beasts that's fine because I'm sure they're crushing these little bluegills and those little panfish I'm seeing but um yeah man there you go uh, unless you have a hang up about paying the premium price for these baits and I suggest checking out Matt Lures, man. He uh, he's got a lot of different baits, soft, and hard baits. Even in this bluegill, the hardgill line, there's different sink rates and different amount of pieces to them. So check him out, man. And Matt seems like a really good dude too. You know, he took care of me. In one instance, I had where he definitely didn't have to. You know, it was just. And I've read that online. You know that's just his way and, and you know it's not just him a lot of these bait makers these swim bait makers it just seems to be part of the culture you know of, of these bait makers you know they're fishermen too and they're just straight up guys it seems like it's been my experience and I, I take it that's pretty common so you feel good about giving your money to people like that you know not only are you getting a, a nice bait made by a passionate and dare I say gifted <laughs> bait makers but you know, there's no bullshit involved either if there is an issue, you know, customer service. These guys do the right thing, so hats off to all bait makers that handle situations like that, which seems to be a lot from what I'm gathering. But anyway, there you go. Uh, like I said, I don't have a problem kicking out 50 bucks for that lure and $60 for the other one. And, you know, I really think it's a case if you get what you pay for. You know, if you see this thing in the water, just the way it looks, uh, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. You know, to each their own with that, too. You know, you don't have to, uh, you know, you have the choice not to buy what you buy already. Just don't take this route, you know. But don't waste your time looking at any of my videos about lures because my videos about lures are going to be about this higher end stuff, at least a little higher end. I'm done fishing with standard lures and standard size lures and stuff you can stroll down again and mountain and pick up that's what every other knucklehead around here is throwing separating myself a little bit here with this stuff so we'll see uh, 
you'll see how it produces. I'll get some on the water footage, I promise. I said that before, and I'm definitely going to be recording some of this uh, next time I go out. So there you go. Hope you guys like this. Take care.